All right, Robin, I'm uh, very excited. I believe uh, on the phone we've got uh, Chef Robert Irvine from uh, Dinner Impossible and Restaurant Impossible. I love him. One of my favorite celebrity chefs. Uh, Good morning, Robert. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, we're doing great. Thanks for uh, joining us this morning. Yeah, a little cold there, I think, right? (laughs) A little cold. Oh, man. It's a little chilly up here. Where, where, Where are you calling from? I'm in 55 degrees Florida right now. Oh, okay. You see, now I, I picture you getting up at like, uh, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, running about uh, 30 miles. Shoveling a bunch <laughs> of snow. I've already done that one, but not 30 miles. <laughs> Coming home, making breakfast for about 1,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my wife doesn't even get that blessed. <laughs> Now, uh, listen, i got to oh. tell you, uh, one of the restaurants that was featured on uh, Restaurant Impossible is uh, in our area, Joe Willie's uh, Fish House in Fishkill. Uh, yes, absolutely. They're still doing very well. So uh, whatever you do over there, work great. A lot. You still, you're still in contact with them? Yes, yeah. In fact, they've been on numerous shows with me since that show. Um, great family, great people. And they were great, buying great product before, just messing up. Well, I'll tell you, I had my Seven Fishes Christmas Eve dinner at Joe Willie's this year and was really pleased. The scrod was delicious. <laughs> good. Well, that's good because I'm probably going to see him this week. <laughs> no. See, now, now this, is very, this is very different what you do because, you know, there's a lot of these reality shows out there where, they, you know, they help people and do stuff. But it really is a lot of it is for the TV and then they go away and they, they never do anything again. But you actually, you actually do help these people and you still stay in contact with them and stuff. Yeah, to me, it's not a TV show. It's it's real life. These are real people with real problems, and we get real solutions. It's two days, $10,000, and it, that's real. The connections that you form with those folks, uh, and if you have asked me that four or five years ago, I said, no way. Uh, but you become attached to them, and you want to help them, and, and you continue to want to help them when the show is finished. That's awesome. When we see you on the show arriving at the restaurant, <laughs> is that the very first time you've been there, or have you actually... Uh, no, that already. is the first time I actually have been to the restaurant or met the people. I don't. I choose not to know anything about the show um, because I want it to be real and I want the reactions to be first time. Um, what you see on the screen is is if I'm mad, you'll see me mad. If I'm uh, if I'm happy and I'm frustrated, and you'll see all that. They capture all that, uh, and I think that's the only way to do this show. You know, when we wrote this, I wrote this uh, four years ago. Um, it was a paint and, and put some space, you know, paper and things like that. Uh, but now it's turned into, you know, about people. And at the end of the day, um, who are we if, we if we don't help each other? Yeah, I, well, I have to say, from when the show first started and I was a little intimidated by you, and now when I, when I you know, watch the later um, episodes and everything, you, I really see that warm human side of you that really does care about the people themselves. But um, now they know that you're coming on that day. I mean, the, the restaurant, you they don't do, just surprise yeah, they them, do. right? There's already a crew of people there before I even get there. That amazes me because, you know, a lot of times when you show up, the place is in such a mess. Like, if they know you're coming, I, can, I can't imagine if that's them, like, you know, putting their best foot forward sometimes. Like, yeah, wouldn't they, wouldn't they <laughs> well, want to clean I, I up a little bit? I think some try to, but at the end of the day, you have to see as it really is and not what they want me to see. Yeah. You know, and, and that's, that's the key. I can't even imagine cleaning up some of those kitchens. <laughs> I got to tell you. Oh, I've seen uh, some really gross stuff on that couple. show. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Now, but you've been doing this for, for quite some time. Now, I read you, you actually joined the, uh, the British Navy when you were 15. Is that, is that true? 15 and a half, yeah. That, that is correct. How yeah. do you even join it's, the Navy uh, at 15? How does that happen? Uh, it's, you can do the junior, junior leaders here. It's slightly different. Um, but I was a secret for many years before I joined the military. Um, and I was the thickest guy in the military, I think, you know, and I took my entrance exam, uh, five being the lowest of English and maths. I think I got five and five. Oh, wow. So, um, they made me become a cook, which is great because that's one I wanted to do anyway. Um, so, and I'm still heavily connected to the military this weekend. In fact, uh, I'm off to Dallas now, but this weekend, Garrison is an I will feed eight, 8,000 people in, uh, the San Diego military, uh, medical center. You know, pre- perform a, um, a big concert, and I'll do a big barbecue for these folks. And we do that seven or eight times around the, around the uh, country during the year. So That's very cool. Um, the military is a huge thing for me. We travel about 150 days a year. Uh, our charity, my 501c3, the foundation, Robert Irvine Foundation, is all about human rights and military families, kids with cancer and make-a-wish foundations. So 
So um, that's a big part of my world. Now, when you do, you're going to be at UPAC in Kingston on February 15th, Sunday night, February 15th. When you do the live show, it's like a dinner impossible. Who who comes up with the challenge for you? It's really interesting because we've just come back from Japan doing uh, this show, uh, but a, a different version for the military. Um, and the, the people went nuts. The, the audience picks everything I do. The audience is in control. I, it's just like the show. I show up. I don't see the food that they buy. This is the only t- time that my team can actually uh, get back at me for anything I've done <laughs> to them. Um, and they do, believe me, with some weird, wonderful foods. Uh, there's lots of video content. There's lots of cooking. There's lots of audience participation. And the audience actually picks the challenges I do and what food I use. And um, it's a really great two hours of escapism uh, from your own life with your kids. And it's very kid-friendly. <clears throat> Yeah, that's, that's awesome. pretty cool for, uh, for someone like me who, who sits on, on the couch all weekend and watches the Food Network and watches your, your show. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of cool to be able to come on out and kind of see see like a live version of it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, there's no other show, um, and there are shows out there. There's nothing like this at all. Are you uh, are you filming some more uh, episodes for uh, for the Food Network for your shows? Or Oh, yes. The, the show has never stopped. I mean, we film one a week right now, as we've been doing since the beginning of, of time. Um, we've got, I'm actually going out to uh, Dallas today. Um, then I'm in L.A. on the next day, and then guys, grocery games on Friday, San Diego with guys finish on Saturday. So the world keeps turning. You're a busy man. That's what keeps those arms so big, I guess. I bet. <laughs> and don't let me scare you. I, I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big teddy bear. Oh, I know I that like now. things done quickly. No, yeah, that's right. I'm still intimidated by the guns. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Chef Robert Irvine, thanks so much for uh, talking to us this morning. Of course, uh, the show is going to be at UPAC in Kingston on Sunday, February 15th. Um, tickets are still available for the show, and of course, you're on uh, pretty much all day long on TV. So, <laughs> very <Yeah>. excited. <laughs> all but right. I appreciate what you guys do too. Uh, radio is a huge medium for me on the show; it gets to a lot of people fast, and uh, we appreciate what you guys do every day. So, thank you.